Good evening, lords and ladies. Welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy here with update 2.7.0. So, the latest updates. Well, there's a brand new guard. And there's new challenges in the Royal Expedition. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at that here in a second. They said they optimized the crown invasion, optimized guard attributes, optimized creations, talents, and skills. Gemstones, rewards, and curiosity types in shooting galleries will be adjusted. So they'll pretty much adjust what you're getting when you use your shooting gallery coins and then they added and adjusted some bundles so that's probably regarding the new guard let's go ahead take a look here see if they have any information don't forget to collect that Whoop! lost control of my mouse alright three new guards online and with the new bound benefit summon madam was I'm not even gonna pronounce that Moppin of orange quality Oliver Cromwell and Thomas Blood of Purple Quality and activate the Pistol and Armor benefit. So if you own all three, you will be able to get the benefits of all three guards. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in a second. Um, new Expedition has been added, so that's going to be awesome to play. Invasion optimized. Um, invasion event will be ended by the system if it lasts longer than 24 hours and the kingdom who holds it for the longest will be the winner. So basically, this prevents extremely long KVKs by like forcing it out. If you can hold it longer, you will win. The march has been sent before Supreme Palace's protection activated. The march will return back when arriving the Supreme Palace instead of starting a battle. So, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's see here. Better rewards of UAC campaign, New World, Night Siege, and Creation World. Arena and Wolf Lord event. Good. More free stuff. Optimize usually means that things are getting cheaper, which means that if you spend it before, you wasted your money. Classic Guns of Glory. So let's go ahead and immediately go ahead take a look at our new guards. That's not what I want to do. I want to go to the recruitment hall and to the gallery. Alright, brand new guard. Cavalry defense plus 3%. That's one that you would upgrade. Troop defense plus 40%, that's amazing. Distance attack, 75%, amazing. So right off the bat, you can go up to 3 stars and have great stats. Cavalry health, 150%, amazing. Cavalry attack, 75%, all 6 stats are amazing. Alright, so level 1 pistol and armor related guards must have at least 1 star. When 3 guards on this list are appointed, will activate and be based on the highest level that meets so basically if you have all three guards you will get the stats additional stats if you have um, all the guards at three stars you will gain these um, additional stats or it will upgrade to these stats I believe and then if you have all of them at five stars then it'll be upgraded to that so that is our weapons master let's go ahead and take a look at who is our weapons master who are we going to be replacing so I have a really strong guard already but the thing is, the stats here for that you will get from the new orange guard is going to be str much stronger than what I'm gaining here. So if you can, you know, you can see I already have five stars. So at what point would be more beneficial to replace the orange guard with this? And I'm probably going to say that around two stars, maybe even three stars, would be when I want to replace Duke of Buckingham with the new guard, new uh, the new orange guard. Now. Keep in mind, you're only going to be getting 16 fragments per $100 for the new orange guard. So, your cost is going to be a lot higher than compared to a purple guard, especially this guard that is not a premium guard. So, if you're still in the mood for spending, which I am not, then you will be able to attain it. However, it will not be cheap. Let's go ahead and go back to looking at our new guards. Master of Defense, Trap Attack, Estate Army Attack. Oh, that's General Dumas. Never mind. Disregard that. Okay. Oliver Cromwell. He's an advisor. Troop Health. That's good. Infantry Attack. That sucks. So right off the bat, you know, your first... um, It's going to cost you $100 to get him initially. Then it's going to cost you an additional $200 for a wasted stat, which means you will then have to spend six hundred dollars so it's seven hundred dollar total in order to get to infantry defense three stars to gain a useful benefit then you have to skip four stars because that's not worth anything and you could go to five stars if you really really want this 
level 3 pistol and armor. It's going to be very expensive and not really worth it in my opinion. So, with that, not worth it. Here, if you're going to keep him just at a 1 star, not recommended. 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, 5 star, these are all good stats. So if you're going to get this guy, you must put stars into him. So we have an ambassador and an advisor. Let's go ahead and look at who he is going to be replacing, who they are going to be replacing, and see if that is worth it. So we already have Captain Travel. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this is not worth it. Just not worth it, in general. And then we have Benoit. Right, okay, so right now, I'm just going to put it out there. I highly discourage discourage anyone from buying these guards. If you're going to buy the new Weapons Master to replace Duke of Buckingham, go for it. But I do not believe it is worth getting rid of Captain Travel or uh, Benoit at all, regardless. Um, these guards are better than the two that are coming in new, and it's not going to be worth the cost if you already have those guards set up into place. That is my personal opinion, based on the stats of the new guards, what you're getting out of it, but you can all lean however you want to lean. That is completely up to you. Okay, so now we have a new Saturday, which is going to be Curiosity Expeditions. Um, let's see what we can get out of some rewards for this. This is all stuff that you can look at yourself. Oh, so now we can actually gain some curiosities. Uh, for free, that would be really nice. It rewards you for spending um, a little bit, and it will make your lives a little easier. So far, I'm not impressed at all with this new um, update. This is severely a waste of everything that we have done so far with our game. And now they're trying to reward us for buying the guards. I just got 30,000 gold for doing absolutely nothing. I feel pretty happy with that. I spent so much money, probably $5,000 on these guards when they first came out or whatever, and I only got 30,000 gold. That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Guns of Glory. Thank you for wasting my time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the latest update. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest videos. This is Captain Cowboy signing off.